there's a group of organisations coming together and there's a couple of hundred, I think, older people to get, get the key information they need to keep safe and warm and well in the winter. You know, there's quite high levels of fuel poverty in Northern Ireland as a whole, um, but in Belfast we know over half of older people live in fuel poverty and that's why we run these events, to get uh, the information out to people as much as possible, but also to help them maybe to take some steps to do something about it. From experience in previous winters, we have now learnt that a big freeze, storms, Poor weather conditions, flooding and power cuts are not unusual and the message we're trying to bring to consumers is to be winter ready. By winter ready there are simple tips you can put in place to be prepared for the worst case scenario. For example, know where your stop tap is in instances of flooding, know where your trip fuses are in case there's a problem with your electricity, have a torch handy and have it in an accessible place and make sure it's battery powered obviously. Have a list of key contacts so if there is, for example, no electricity you have a name or a number for NIE networks or even for a neighbour or a friend and take simple, tip, take simple tips such as making sure your appliances have been serviced such as boilers, gas boilers and making sure your oil is topped up and prepared for the winter months. These events are great for the older people because they get all the information under the one roof, they've come to the one place and there's so much diverse information. I think this is about one of the biggest ones that has been, I think there's 46 stalls here and this information is vital to a lot of the older people. They wouldn't get, they wouldn't know about these things. Otherwise, I think we're very lucky to have Belfast City Council uh, running these events. I find that maybe vulnerable people don't really get to events like this. That you know, they would admit it. You don't have the neighbourliness that you had years ago, and that uh, if people were coming to an event like this, I think it needs to more people maybe to volunteer and go round and see that people in their own neighbourhoods can. Uh, if they've got the information here then they could pass it on maybe. I think the thing that we'd like to change and is always a struggle is older people come to these events uh, but we always need the more isolated people, some of the people who are stuck in their own home or they, they really are a bit housebound so it's getting the information out to them is the most important thing. Sometimes older people want to remain private and they, they're worried about getting help or asking for help but I think we need to take that fear away and help other older people and neighbours to look out for the people around them because there is help there but it's getting it through to the right people. There's a lot of unemployment and depredation in this area and the um, it does get hidden because people are too proud. It's a very proud people live in East Belfast and uh, they're too proud to admit that they can't heat their homes and they're inclined to wrap themselves up, heat one room, stay indoors and just hide and uh, I think that everybody should live in a comfortable warm home. A lot of the homes right enough have been, uh, by, if the housing executive standard is quite high they are well insulated and that in these days and I don't think anybody should have to live in a cold home, I don't think there's an excuse for that at all. What they need to do is come to an event like this and they'll get all the information they'll need and there's plenty of people out there will help them, the fire service, the council, housing executive. There's a Belfast emergency preparedness group and they meet very regularly and we just actually had a meeting last week of a winter planning group and we met with the trust with the public health agency and the housing executive uh, and it, we meet several times coming up into the winter to keep up to date. We also have uh, an information list and an email list as well so if anything does happen if there's suddenly flooding and actually flooding is much is very common at the minute we send out an email around everybody to tell about anything new that has you know, any new information people need or if the council have opened up their emergency phone number so we do we as i say we just had a meeting last week uh, and there are emergency plans as well in certain areas if we know that some areas are at risk in the in the cold weather or at risk of flooding some of those community groups now have their own emergency plan it's important that older people in communities know about what's happening and other older people can sometimes tell their neighbor who doesn't get out you know about what help they need or what has just happened. The information is there but it's not always in the one place and it can be difficult to raise that awareness. Certainly here at the Consumer Council we can talk about a whole range of availability in terms of grants, offers, the cost, the ability to switch but events like today such as Avenue where we have a whole, a whole range of different organisations who cover 
various areas is ideal for consumers to come to a one-stop shop and get all the information they possibly can from the expert organisations in order to be fully first in what's best for them throughout the winter months. It was a very well uh, supported event and it has been very nice going round to everybody and learning so much in one morning.